This is a story not in my new play, Football Head, Tales of Shame and Humiliation. It was about 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I, I came home and I didn't, I was not lucky. And I, it, was, it was a time in my life where I, I was without a boyfriend. And so I come coming home, kind of, you know, stumbly, get in the house, and uh, there I have an HX and a next, you know, the gay rag, you know, with the hookers in the back. So I'm just leafing through the mag, and I come across Reiki Bottom Master. <laughs> Should I be telling this? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, um, I thought, well, let me try. I pick up the phone, I say, hello, and I was just wondering if uh, you would, uh, by chance, trade your services for some art. And he said, well, well what's your name? I go, well, in the, in, you know, in the art world, they know me as, as Christopher Tanner. And so, <laughs> um, he said, oh, well, I'll come over right now. And I said, well, you know, it's, you know, uh, 4, 30, 5 o'clock in the morning. And he said, it's all right, I'm coming over. I said, okay. So I got all excited and put the sheet on the bed, you know, got some drawings out. <laughs> and uh, um, he arrived and he was gorgeous. And he said, I'm not going to have sex with you. I went, what? He said, I know who you are. I've been following your career. And here's $2,000. I want to, you know, I want you to give me. A uh, uh, black payette triptych with some colored jewels, and I said, "All right." And so I, I made the pay to get two. You know, it was dry in three days, and he came back and gave you know gave, took me out for hors d'oeuvres and you know some some fancy at a place with stained glass windows, and it was real fun. And I met some of my friends. We went to some parties at his house, and then a couple of months later, somebody said, "Hey, uh, Chris." And called me up and said, uh, you know, I was at a mutual friends of our house for a massage, and I saw your uh, your your beautiful painting. I was wondering. I work for a very very famous designer, and maybe uh, I could come over and, and pick up a painting uh, and bring it to my boss. I said, by all means. So he did, and he brought a couple paintings. The next week, a Rolls Royce pulled up to my house, and out walked this very, very famous uh, New York designer in a black, black llama fur coat to the ground. And he came in and he said, we will take this and we will take that and we won't need a discount. <laughs> and my, my dealer at the time, you know, at the time was, you know, he was, uh, he was all on fire, you know, of course. And um, oh, uh, anyway, to make a long story short, um, we looked at the box at where they were going, and they were going to the most famous uh, uh, politician on the um, East Coast of America, really. And so I sold three paintings for just trying to get a little ass uh, with some glitter paintings <laughs> at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so I just thought I'd tell you about that. <laughs>